So I'm enjoying doing these videos for you, these story time videos. Um, looking back at, again, a uh, recurring theme, which was the, the my point from the first video, uh, which was on not being afraid of the computers and just trying stuff like Bing on the keyboard. <laughs> Literally is a technique that I've used before. Uh, but I mentioned in that uh, last video with the touch screen uh, that I had at work that I was taught that on that particular screen, if you go left corner, right corner, center top, it would exit out of one mode and go into a training mode. Well, for many years after that, I have found that, and it's getting better. There, there are less and less programs, uh, kiosks that do this, but a lot of kiosks, if you just randomly tap different corners and edges of the screen, you can get into uh, settings on those machines. Um, one place I went where I you know, uh, 11 years ago registered for my wedding, we're at the kiosk for registering. There's two of them. My wife's filling out the registration information. I'm at the other one and I'm touching all the corners and I found that the top two corners, if I touched them, they would make a clicking noise, like you're clicking a button. So I just sat there going, ah, pop, 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 and it took me about five seconds and a menu came up. Uh, and a lot of the options in the menus, there are a few that uh, I, uh, that requested passwords, but I was able to put the machine out of service, do a print test, that sort of stuff, all just by randomly touching the screen. And I have found that on a lot of kiosks. Um, there was a the kiosks that um, you can rent movies from, one of those brands uh, years ago, I haven't tried in years, but I just went up and I think I just like at one of the screens, I just went tap, 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 tap. Or again, I would, I would just try the top two corners is what it usually is. Uh, back and forth, and it would bring up a menu. Luckily, those were secure because you would do that. It would bring up a menu and ask you to insert a special maintenance disk. So, so you would do that. Basically, I guess the maintenance person would press those buttons and then insert a special disk into the machine. Uh, so at least that was more secure. But again, you can learn a lot just by randomly hitting inputs on a machine, whether you're banging on a keyboard or randomly touching the screen. And a lot of touch screens, again, go around the edge, slide your fingers up and down the edge. I do that every time I get to a kiosk with a touch screen. Listen for clicks, see if it uh, maybe gives you some sort of visual that you're clicking on a, on, a, on a button. And if not, just start tapping the four corners randomly. And you might be surprised how often you'll get into a menu. <laughs> uh, don't get yourself in trouble doing it, though. Uh, but it's good to know that if you're doing something with this machine, especially if it involves personal information of your, of your own, uh, how secure are these machines? Thanks for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.